Hey Virgos, welcome back to Sophia Monet Tarot. It's your girl Sophia Monet. Alrighty, you guys. Let's see what spirit has to say to you for this week. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. You guys, go ahead and hit that like button. Thank you so much for supporting this video. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on with Virgos? Welcome back, you guys. Okay, Virgo. Aries energy, okay? The Emperor is here. Ten of Cups. Okay. The High Priestess. Mm. <laughs> I feel like, Virgo, you need to keep... Whatever you're doing, just keep it to yourself. If you're working hard, some of you could be moving. Keep it to yourself. Be very... I feel... Not secretive, but... <sighs> Keep a sense of privacy this week when it comes to your affairs, when it comes to the affairs of your household, or if you're choosing to move or, you know, change locations in any type of way, maybe with a job, just keep things to yourself. Use your intuition, okay? Especially when it comes to who your life partner will be, use your intuition. Also, you may not want to let people know who you're dating right away. Okay, I feel like you need to keep that to yourself as well. Alrighty, let's see what else. Remember, the stories could be flipped or reversed, so please put the characters where they go for your personal situation. For Virgos, what is this emperor all about? Let's get into it. Seven of Wands is here. We have the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. You may be getting some information that someone did not want you to know about. Some, some of you may be discovering the truth about something. What is this? Four of Swords and the Devil Energy. Someone could be sick. I just got that. For some of you, someone may not have wanted you to know the truth, but you may find out something about this person. Or the situation, someone could be ill or sick or dealing with an illness of some sort. I'm getting that very strongly with the four of swords and the devil energy. Take it as it resonates, you guys. That won't be for everyone. Four of cups is here. What is this energy? You could be dealing with a Capricorn for some of you or an Aries. Devil with the four of cups. Three of pentacles. The strength card. Some of you could be dealing with a tough living situation. Strength card. Leo's energy is here. It could be with a Leo. Oh, it's almost like the energy of you trying to gain back control of a situation that you've lost control over. Seven of Wands with the Ace of Swords. It's like, you know what? I shouldn't have started this. Now that I started it. You know, maybe you allowed someone to live with you. Maybe you, in your home, Ten of Cups. And you may not be letting people know how bad the situation really is. And you're just trying to keep shit together. Strength card with the Three of Pentacles. It's like a tough living situation. Ten of Cups, show me for Virgo. That's a loud helicopter going by, you guys. Ten of Cups. Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, death card, Scorpio's energy is here. We also have the seven of swords. Yeah, it's like someone pretending that like things are good, things are okay. And really, it's like, no. Someone trying to sneak away from possibly a fire sign or a Scorpio. So like trying to get away from this person. Knight of wands. Yeah. The world card. Woo. Trying to close out this cycle. The star card is here. Some of you, it's like, if you walk away from someone, say someone is too immature, someone is a player, or with the Knight of Wands to the Queen of Wands, that always shows me an age gap, or someone is immature, someone is not on the same level as the person, or we would get King and Queen, not Queen to the Knight. Do you see what I'm saying? That's like immaturity, 
okay? With the world card, it's like putting a stop to that, closing out that cycle, and then the star. So I, I want to say, Virgo, if someone is holding you back from becoming what you want or getting your wishes fulfilled, it's time to close that cycle out. What's that star card? Some of you could be starting a new beginning with an Aquarius as well. What's this star? Will of Fortune, moving toward your dreams, your goals. Page of Cups, someone that you feel more emotionally open to. Two of Wands, making a major decision. Woo. What's that Page of Cups there? Page of Pentacles, wow. The Harfont. Yeah, some of you may be trying to make the best decision for your children as well if you have kids. It's like, if I leave this person, then, you know, how will I take care of my kids? Where will I go? Where will I move? You know, you could be thinking about this, these things. Some of you could be talking to a Taurus, if I haven't already said that. Their energy is here with the Harfont. Two of Swords, making a decision here. Two of Wands, Two of Swords, there's a big decision for you to make about your future and what you really want, what you really desire, Virgo. What's this high priestess over here for Virgos? Queen of Swords. Yes, again, it's like, don't tell anyone what you're doing, your moves. Page of Wands, keeping things to yourself. Knight of Cups. We have a lot of pages and we have a lot of knights coming out. And then we have two queens over here. Yeah. Oh, you may have a lot of air in your chart as well. Air sign energy, being a Virgo, but you may have a lot of air in your chart. Or you may be coming off as an air sign. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like you. if you start dating someone new, you can't tell anyone. And I feel like maybe because people will judge you or they'll try to have some type of opinion I just got this for another sign, this type of energy. I think I got this for Capricorn. But it's like, for you, you may not be able to tell everyone because maybe everyone won't be happy that you're moving forward, you're moving on. Knight of Cups. Empress, whoa. The lovers, yeah. I just feel like you're ready to be treated like the Empress. You're ready to find love. You're ready to be in love. Yeah, and you may have people coming toward you that just don't, they don't amount. They're not on your level, Virgo. Anything else Virgo should know this week? Eight of Swords, Page of Swords. Yeah, someone can't stop thinking about you, can't stop spying. The Tower, kaboom, Scorpio's energy. Nine of Cups with the Magician. Hmm. Yeah, I I feel like as someone is spying on you, they're realizing like how amazing you are and all of this stuff. But again, it's like this person, maybe they're not willing to change. Maybe they're not willing to step up to this level. The sun. Some of you are manifesting happiness. Five of wands. It may cause confusion with the current situation, with the current living situation. It may cause confusion when it comes to a relationship. But it's like, I have to manifest my own happiness. I have to choose my own happiness. You may be with a very manipulative Gemini or a manipulative Leo for some of you. All they do is cause arguments, cause fights. In the household, that's all they do is fight and argue with you. And it's going to lead to heartbreak. Some of you are already heartbroken by this person. You may have to divorce. It may be a Libra for some of you. Justice is here. You may have to divorce this person, separate from this person. You may have to, it may hurt you that you have to take this person to court. I'm getting the energy of a restraining order. Ten of Swords is here. There's a major ending coming for you. 
whoever this person is, there's a major ending coming. You're going to have to end it with this person. You may have to sue them or take them to court. I feel the strong energy of a restraining order. Some of you need to get a restraining order on this person. How is Virgo feeling? How is Virgo feeling at this time? Judgment is here. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like your final decision is to set yourself free from this person. Eight of Pentacles. You could be working hard, saving up money to separate from this person. Or you could be very focused on having your own freedom, your own individuality. Ace of Wands is here with the Seven of Cups. Yeah, you're looking at other things, other possibilities. Who? Some of you really could be trying to connect sexually with other people as well. You're tired of this person, the situation. You're looking for what else is out there, finding a deeper connection with someone else because you may feel like this person is not it. Yeah. Let me come to this deck. What's going on in this connection? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit with Virgo. With Virgo and this person, what's going on? Healing family issues. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Keep an open mind. It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. For some of you, the toxic person in your life are your parents. For some of you. Take that as it resonates. That's not for all of you. For so for some of you, this is family issues. Okay. For others of you, this may be a lover that you have children with. Okay. And it may be hard to separate from this person because you share children. What else? Wedding is here. You may have been married to this person. Okay, for some of you, like I said, I see a divorce. Some of you may be separating from this person. Religious factors. You may have uh, stayed with this person because of religious uh, reasons. For some of you, it may be against your religion to divorce or to separate. For some of you with religious factors, I'm getting like you were kind of like this person's savior. Like you were just trying to do the right thing by this person, even though you know that they're a tyrant or they're bad, you know, or this person is disturbed, like mentally disturbed, but you were just trying to do the right thing to help make the effort. Yeah. Always trying to make the effort, always trying to put in. Okay. I feel like you may have overgiven to the situation. Now, for some of you, it's like make the effort to detach yourself from this person. Start flirting again. Start getting back out there. There may be new love connections coming in. That's what I was seeing on your side. Wanting to find the love of your life. Wanting to find someone that you truly connect with. Six of Cups, past life soulmate energy. Seven of Cups, keeping your options open, seeing what else is out there. Who Who is my person? Ace of Wands. It's almost like who ignites that fire within me? Who is that person for you? Because I do not feel like it's the person that you've been dealing with. It's like this person has been giving you a headache. Anything else? What's going on with this person? Kipper deck. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. What's going on with this person? This situation in Virgo's life. What's going on? Change. There's major changes coming. Okay? I had already talked to you about that. Like you may need to move. Some of you may be trying to get out of this situation. Something needs to change. Something needs to change. The number nine standing out. It could take nine weeks, could take nine months. Something needs to change. Imprisonment. Look at that. Some of you have felt imprisoned. You could be age 29. The number 29 standing out. Okay. For some of you, of course, imprisonment, feeling like you're trapped in a certain situation. Someone could actually be imprisoned as well. Anything else? Privileged lady. And this, I feel like this is you. Privileged lady, privileged man. It doesn't matter. The number 12 coming out. The month of December could be significant for some of you. Privileged lady is here. See, you need to change this imprisonment that you've been in. Spirit is saying you need to change this imprisonment that you've been in, Virgo. Whatever you've been tied to, whatever has kept you bound, feeling like you have to please this person, feeling like you have to be there for this person. 
taking the brunt of this person's jokes or their bad behavior, like always, you know, being this person's stepping stool. Like, no, no more of that. It's time for you to step into your place of honor, okay? Wow, any advice for Virgo? Any advice for Virgo? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, advice for Virgo? Abundance, look at that. Stepping into a place of abundance once you get rid of this person. Unlikely, yeah. I feel like it's unlikely that someone is going to change. Waiting for someone to change, waiting for someone to be responsible, waiting for someone to do the right thing, put you first, respect you, right? waiting for someone to acknowledge your feelings, unlikely. One more, within the next few weeks. Could be nine weeks. See, I, did I mention that? I think I said nine weeks, nine months. I did say that when I got the number nine over here for change. I said nine weeks or nine months. And spirit is saying within the next few weeks, you need to change something about this situation or else it's only going to get worse. If you don't establish your dominance in this situation, you got to put your foot down sometime. You got to say no sometime. Okay. Alrighty, Virgo, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. If this reading resonated with you, I would love to hear from you. Leave something in the comments for me. You guys take care. Bye.